Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm here to make a video that I actually meant to make quite some time ago, but since I've got the time to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So a lot of us um, have the uh, either an HP or, you know, any other brand that has the uh, AMD A6 3400 or 3420 um, APU with the uh, Radeon 6520G graphics and you know a lot of people think that they can't overclock these you know the GPUs but that's definitely uh, that's false and you know I've been after searching around for some time you know months ago I found out how to overclock just the GPU itself you know to get some extra performance I mean you're not gonna get you're, you're not gonna get like the performance of a uh, GTX card or anything like that but I mean you'll get pretty pretty stable performance and you'll get you know some extra frames in uh in your games with while having some settings turned up you know to their to their fullest potential so um, I'm gonna get right into it here it's very very easy guys but um, before I get started I should just as with overclocking anything you have to make sure that you have proper cooling because if you don't then you'll end up of course frying your uh, your your chipsets so first I want to show you guys that um, my clock speed for the GPU is at 400 megahertz I'm gonna run GPU Z real quick and here you go as you can see it's got all my information here and it says GPU clock is at 400 megahertz and the default is at 400 megahertz so we're gonna go ahead and close that and I'm gonna open up MSI Afterburner if you don't have it um, do a Google search for MSI Afterburner and it will take you right to the uh, website where you can download it and as you can see it's at 400 megahertz here now also take note when you open up your MSI afterburner for the first time this green slider is gonna be all the way up here it's gonna be all the way to, you know it's gonna be completely full and it's gonna say 400 megahertz because that's the maximum that the program knows that it can go so let me go ahead and close that the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up once you install MSI Afterburner you're gonna to go to local disk C program files x86 for Windows Vista and Windows 7 users and I believe Windows 8 too and you're gonna to go to the MSI Afterburner folder the file you wanna look for is MSI Afterburner dot CFG that stands for config your configuration file I've already got it open. I just wanted to open it real, you know, to make this video quick for you guys. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll, you're going to see all this stuff. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And right here where it says ATI ADHAL, there are going to be some options here that you're going to want to change. Um, first, you want to make sure that the unofficial over the unofficial overclocking mode is set to one accessibility checking period zero and unified memory usage monitoring will be set at one and you it's very important that you have to set it one for the unofficial overclocking mode that zero is off one is on pretty simple to understand so um, and a lot of people will have you uh, paste in the user license agreement um, as you can see mine is blank I did not paste that in you know I really didn't need to um, for this to work so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and close that and you're gonna wanna hit save and when you open this file you're gonna wanna open it um, you can just I'll show you how to do it um, you're going to want to go to let's see notepad well actually excuse me first when you go to notepad 
you want to make sure that you run Notepad as administrator first. Run as administrator, then when it opens, you just simply navigate to your MSI Afterburner folder. If you don't run Notepad as administrator, it's not going to let you uh, not going to let you save the changes that you make to the config file. And I repeat again, you must run Notepad as administrator in order to be able to navigate to this folder and make the uh, the changes and everything. So, yeah, it's all files, and there it is. You just simply open it up, make the changes that I made that I told you to make, and click save. Boom, you're done. And now we're going to open up MSI Afterburner. And we're going to go ahead and slide this up. And we're going to click Apply. And if you want to go, and here's another cool trick it can go higher than 520 megahertz. In order to do that, you simply close MSI Afterburner and then open it back up and as you can see there's a lot more headroom so we're just gonna slide this up there you have 680 megahertz and you click apply but let's push it even further I'm gonna close MSI open it back up and look how much more headroom we've got I'm gonna go ahead and slide this up even further 885 megahertz that's about as far as I'm actually gonna go for for this video I'm gonna click apply and you're gonna click save and we're gonna just go ahead and select one of those profiles and save it and um, I will tell you you'll want to have MSI afterburner minimized to your system tray so that the uh, the clocks stay set to what you have them because if you close it, it's going to go ahead and go back to the default clock. At least I, I'll be, at least I believe it will. I'll test that out here for you guys in this video. And just to make sure that the clock settings are real and that they've actually changed, let's go ahead and open up GPUZ again. And look here. GPU clock is at 842 megahertz. And the D it says the default is 842 megahertz. Um, the reason it's not at 885 is that by default, the BIOS for the GPU will shave off some um, some frequency, just you know for safety. It's like a little cushion, I guess. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close that. You see that it actually changed the clock to 800. And 42 megahertz so it's not one of those things where you just think it's at 842 and then you actually don't get the performance or anything so now I'm gonna test something out real quick I'm gonna go ahead and close MSI afterburner and I'm gonna go ahead and open GPU Z again and we'll see if the clocks stayed to Okay, yeah, so you can actually close MSI Afterburner once you're done. You don't have to keep it open. Just wanted to test that out for you guys so I can tell you properly. So, uh, I believe that is about it. Um, let me just check and make sure I covered everything for you guys. That way I don't, you know, you guys don't have any problems or anything like that. Okay. Microsoft. Yep, that is everything. I just wanted to make sure I covered everything. But like I said, make sure you run Notepad as administrator and, um, you know, make the, the simple change, save it, and then t uh, go ahead and start, you know, toying around and seeing what, you know, <clears throat> what frequency works best for you. Now, 
a disclaimer, I am not responsible for anybody frying their um, their GPUs. So, you know, have a little use a little common sense when when you know boosting up your frequencies and everything like that. And again, make sure you have proper adequate cooling. You know, I don't want anybody messaging me telling me that I was the cause of their computers getting fried because I'm telling you here and now that you have to be smart when overclocking this. And this coupled with you know a little CPU overclocking you know it's gonna give you a great performance boost especially if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM or more so I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it took me so long to make it I've just been busy but if you guys have any questions or run into any problems with any of the steps that I've outlined go ahead and shoot me a message or a comment on the video and uh, like it share it and rate it and if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you later.